What are some things that you feel actors here in Georgia looking to get in, or what are some things that they are failing at that they could do better? Well, the one thing that a lot of us are still seeing, because I, I know a lot of the folks who run the taping services here, is there's, there's still, a, is a, still too many people who aren't showing up prepared, who aren't really putting in the effort as they would if this was truly a full-time career pursuit. Um, there is a level of uh, diligence and preparedness that I think we still have to get to. Um, and I think it's going to take time because the environment here has always been sort of their regional market environment. Well, now we're a major player. We're no longer just a regional market. You know, we're the number one market in the world to make movies. So we have to change the psychology of stu still too many people who are still feeling that it's a hobby and something fun to understand that we're now competing with the best actors anywhere in the country, and in some cases, the world. That there's no room for showing up to an audition unprepared. There's another phenomenon that's happening now that I'm kind of bothered about is actors who don't show up for audition. They really? just don't show up. Wow. And I don't understand that because all of us know how precious those auditions are because for every audition I got, there's at least 75 or 150 guys that ain't going to be there. Yep. So um, uh, I think that's the one thing that we still need to considerably raise the bar on is that level of professionalism uh, and preparedness uh, and, and also the fact that um, there's a lot of instances I'm hearing about where because we're all doing self-tapes, if they cast somebody off the tape, you don't know if, that, if it took that actor 27 takes to get that performance. And then they hire him, and then they show up on the set and they're standing across from any celebrity and they're a little starstruck and suddenly they can't deliver because they needed 27 takes to get there and you're not going to get that in the real world. Um, so I think that's the place where we still need to do a lot of work. But there is a lot of progress being made. I know one of the cool things that we do here at sag After is we have our sag After Conservatory, which has programs every month on issues related to that. And they've been doing a great job for the last five plus years uh, bringing in professionals from all over the market, all over the country to come and help educate our members to raise the bar. So I think we're making progress, but that's the place to focus on. I can't believe people are not going to their auditions. Uh, it blows my mind. And you know what? <laughs> I, I, apparently it's not just here. Really? Yeah. And, and uh, some people suspect that it may be related to the self-taping phenomenon because actors are becoming a little too comfortable with working in their cocoon, so they get scared to have to go into a room and do it. Well, you're eventually going to have to go on a set in front of a bunch of people and do it. Then the pressure's really on. Um, I, don't, I don't get it, but we'll see. Yeah.